Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the June 2016 International A Level Edexcel Mechanics M1 paper. This question is about these forces and vectors. It says two forces F1 and F2 act on a particle A. F1 is 2i minus 3j Newton. So I like to always write my vectors as column vectors 2i minus 3j. And F2 is pi plus qj newtons where p and q are constants given that the resultant of f1 and f2 so the resultant of f1 plus f2 is parallel to i plus 2j now when a vector is parallel to another vector it's not equal to the vector but it's equal to some multiple of the of that vector some fraction or multiple of that vector so it's equal to some constant times uh, one so one two i plus two j so that's one i plus two j so when two vectors are parallel they are equal to a constant times um you know each other basically right so what we can say here is for a it says show that 2p minus q plus 7 equals zero so you can set an equation up from this fact that f1 which is 2 minus 3 plus f2 which is pq is equal to some constant times 1, 2. So from here we can set up a pair of equations and we can um, combine them together. So we have here 2 plus P equals K. 2 plus P equals K. And minus 3 plus Q equals 2K. Now what we want to do is we want to eliminate the K from this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this equation 1 and equation 2. I'm going to take equation 1 and multiply it by 2 so it becomes 2k as well. So if I take this and multiply it by 2, it becomes 4 plus 2p equals 2k. So now I have a pair of equations. Okay, they call this equation 3 where I have both k's the same. So I can subtract the two equations from each other. So I can say, for example, here, let's do equation 3 minus equation 2 so the uh, P's remain positive. It doesn't really matter, actually. Um, actually, yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter. We can keep it. We want the P's to be positive, so I'll do that. So 4 minus minus 3, which is 7. 2 minus 2, then you're going to have plus 2P minus Q. They're not the same, so you can't you know, subtract them in that way. But these will disappear. That gives you 0. So we see 2P minus Q plus 7 equals 0. So we get exactly what we're supposed to show. So therefore, 2P minus Q plus 7 equals 0. So 2P minus q plus 7 equals 0. So there's the answer to part A. Before part B, it says, given that q equals 11 and the mass of A is 2 kilograms and that F1 and F2 are the only forces acting on A, find the magnitude and the acceleration of A. Okay, so now, so this is the resultant force, okay, which is um, k times 1, 2. And we know that Q is equal to 11. So let's, let's first of all, we know if we Q is equal to 11, then we can see here that 2P minus 11 plus 7 equals 0. So 2P minus 4 equals 0. 2P equals 4. P equals 2. So we have Q equals 11 and P equals 2. That means the resultant force, or we can say F2, sorry. So we know F1. We already know F1. They told us F1 is 2 minus 3. That's 2 minus 3. And now we know what F2 is exactly. It's PQ, so it's 2 and 11. So now we can say the resultant force, therefore, is going to be 2 minus 3 plus 2, 11, which is 4. And that's minus 3 plus 11, which is 8. Okay, so we can see it's actually parallel to 1, 2. Yeah, it is 1, 2. That's like... 4 times 1, 2, that's fine. All right, so now we can find what um, the magnitude and acceleration of A is. Okay, so the magnitude of the particle A. So these are the only forces acting on A. So we know that F equals MA. This is not the forces, the, this, is the, this, is the, this is not the acceleration, this is the force. We want to find the acceleration. So we know that 4, 8 is equal to the mass, which we're told is 2 kilograms times a so therefore a is equal to a half of 4 8 okay which is going to be 2 4 so the acceleration 
is two four. So we can say that they want us to find the magnitude of the acceleration of A. So the magnitude of the acceleration is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 4 plus 16, which is root 20. So this, the magnitude of A is root 20 meters per second squared. Is it meters per second? Um, yeah, because it's all uh, SI units here, Newtons. Yeah, okay. So meters per second squared, which we can round to 3SF. We can say the root of 20. I think if we leave it as root 20, it's still fine. But that's 2 root 5. In fact, as in, in, in simplified f third form, of course, it's 2 root 5 meters per second squared. And to 3SF, it will be 4.47 4.47 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration. That's the magnitude of the acceleration of the um, of A. Okay, because that was the forces, the resultant force acting on A. Okay, was this four eight? So there's the answer to this question. Question part B of this question five from the June two thousand and sixteen paper. Okay, so the important points here is that the resultant of two vectors is found by adding them together, and um, when a vector is parallel to another vector it's not equal to it but it's equal to some multiple of it and we can you know we can say that you know that if these are equal then 2 plus p must be the same as 1k and 3 plus q must be the same as 2k and we can solve and get rid of the k's and find an expression for uh, you know p and q together as we did and then um, we know that um, once we know what p and q are we can find the resultant force and then we know that force is mass times acceleration. So the acceleration is force divided by the mass. And we've got the acceleration vector. We need to find the magnitude of it. And we found it. Simple as that. Okay. So other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of vectors will be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch the video that will appear in the top here to help you find other material that you might find useful for my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.